Well, one of the things we've been working on here at Kansas State University at the Agricultural Research Center at Hayes is low input bunker storage of wet distillers grains. And one of the things if, if producers are interested in utilizing wet distillers grains in their operation is that you have to be able to take a truckload quantity of, of wet distillers grains uh, at a time. And for some producers, that can be a challenge to go through that as, as wet distillers grains uh, will have a shelf life of somewhere in the neighborhood between 7 and 30 days depending on weather conditions. So here at Hayes, uh, we wanted to find a way that we could store wet distillers grains in a relatively, uh, rel relatively low input manner. Uh, there are other methods uh, out there in terms of bagging it. Uh, as well as maybe combining it with low quality forages such as corn stalks or any type of just low quality grass hay uh, will work as well. But all of those methods also add additional costs. Back. So one of the things we've been doing here at Hayes is actually just unloading wet distillers grains directly into some concrete bunkers, uh, covering that wet distillers with a 6 mil plastic and tire similar to the manner in which we would typically cover a silage pile. Uh, <clears throat> We've stored wet distillers grains in that manner here for upwards of 200 days now. Uh, we've done a couple of different case studies. Our most recent uh, study was conducted with 100% corn-based wet distillers product. Uh, we stored that product for 208 days. Uh, we took nutrient composition samples every 14 days. Uh, we also re took temperature recordings. Uh, we found that the wet distillers grains comes in from the plant at a little over 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, over the period of about uh, 30 days, it'll decline to a little below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it maintains a fair amount of temperature. Uh, for about a month, stays fairly warm when you put it in the pile. Uh, in terms of our nutrient compositional sampling, we actually found very little effect of storage on the subsequent nutrient composition of the corn-based wet distiller screens. So essentially, uh, there was no change in dry matter, uh, very little change in crude protein content. Uh, so effectively after 200 days we had wet distillers grains that was essentially just as good as the day we put it in a bunker. We did see a little bit of mold on top of that pile, however in the areas where we got a good uh, adherence of the plastic to the wet distillers grains, uh, there was typically less than a half inch of spoilage and at the most two to three inches of, of spoiled wet distillers grains across the surface of that pile. Uh, so if you look at that, that's uh, a very small amount of storage for spoilage for the amount of distillers that we were able to store. Uh, in and the big advantage of this is really uh, tied to economics in that Typically wet distillers grains uh, might be able to be purchased in the summer months for a relatively low price, stored in say July or August and then fed out during the winter months if, if the producer was backgrounding some calves. Um, and the, the, the other advantage would be that they might uh, be able to store a sufficient uh, you know, amount of wet distillers grains for their entire winter feeding period at once. Uh, so rather than you know, taking truckloads of a contract at a time. So we feel that uh, this method, it's, it's fairly low cost. We see shrink a lot of times less than 10%. Uh, we get very little spoilage and, and very little change in nutrient composition of, of the product. So uh, we're excited about this. We think that it certainly holds some opportunity for especially smaller producers uh, to utilize wet distillers grains as a, as a low cost feedstuff in their operations. Uh, it might also be attractive to larger producers that are just looking to capture some of the economic advantages of being able to purchase wet distillers grains uh, during the summer months when it can it, it typically becomes cheaper and, and feeding it out during the winter months.